Hi guys, I'm Elise Galloway, an entrepreneur and business owner, and today I'm going to talk to you about setting goals and writing them down. Um, if you're somebody who has big dreams and you're just not really sure how to achieve them, you don't really have any uh, direction, um, you just kind of lost, today's topic is for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, making a plan, writing it down, and methods of accountability. Um, so first off, we're going to start out with making a plan and um, writing down your goals. And so first you need to create a roadmap. You need to brainstorm different ideas on um, how to get to where you wanna go. Um, George Doran did a two page article, um, published, he published the smart planning methods for setting goals. Um, and it was intended for managers, but today we're gonna use it for managing ourselves. And so his SMART method was an acronym for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. And while not all five of those may apply to your specific goal, um, apply what you can. So maybe yours isn't measurable in the sense of financial gain or um, year end sales or anything. However, um, apply what you can to your specific goal. Um, the next one, as I mentioned, is brainstorming. Um, think of different projects that you can you can do that will help work you uh, work towards your goals. So um, stepping stones that are going to help uh, build your portfolio, um, experience that you might need on a resume, uh, or just things you want to kind of um, experiment with. Um, otherwise, if you're not making a plan, you're not creating a roadmap, um, you're just going to kind of be lost and you're just kind of like relying on hope. Um, and we can't really do that when it comes to um, goals. We need a definitive uh, action plan. So um, what you're going to be doing is um, once you have your action plan, make sure you're writing it down and getting specific. Um, when you start writing these things down, it's going to start creating a sense of organization. Um, you can also transfer that over to a checklist um, or your put it on your calendar. Um, and that way you kind of have a reminder because if you're not doing it, you're just kind of winging it. Um, you're going to forget. You're, we're all liable to forget things. We're going to get distracted. The next shiny thing is going to come up. A new great idea is going to come up. Um, and before you know it, we're going to be off task. And so once you've got your plan and you've written it down, you've got it on your calendar and you've got your to-do list, then you're going to start asking for um, help for accountability. And some of the best methods for that is, first of all, just tell someone, um, tell a friend, tell someone that uh, is a confidant and, um, and have them ask you for updates. And by the way, that's a two lane road. So you can ask them about their goals and ask them for accountability updates as well. That way there's incentive for you both to be checking in on each other. Um, another method, and I have used this method myself, is to make a wager. And um, some ideas for that is you've got $500, which might sound like a lot, and maybe it is. It maybe needs to be enough to where it's a little bit of a pinch and you just are a little uncomfortable, but making a wager and you can spread that $500 into five people. So they each um, have a $100 gift, basically, uh, if you fail to meet your uh, goals and deadlines. So I would often ask people who I, I liked and trusted and loved, but I would also ask some other people who maybe were kind of interested in the money. So um, at the time I asked um, a, a male friend of mine who I wasn't like particularly close with, but he was kind of eager like, oh sure, yeah, I'll do that, hundred bucks, heck yeah. So, you know, <laughs> For better or for worse, maybe it's not somebody you particularly like, but you know what? It's going to be that much more motivation uh, for you to stick to it. So um, another method for that, instead of giving somebody money, is um, well, people you know money, you can also make a donation or to a charity or something like that. And um, if you don't meet your goals, uh, you... Um, pledge to donate. And it maybe is a charity you don't, again, particularly like if you are an animal lover, maybe you can go to somebody else for um, AA or something like that. Something that, um, maybe that's not a great idea, but just something that um, is going to really help you to stick to your guns and motivate you to uh, really 
um, meet your deadlines. So um, other than that, you can also, you can ask for assistance, find a mentor, somebody who's already done it, somebody who's already been there, um, or you can even hire a coach. And I have also hired a coach before. Hire someone that who, whose work you like, um, who are getting results, and go in that direction. Go for those people. If they don't have a portfolio that you like or trust, then they're probably not the right coach for you. Um, and ask that they check in on you or see if you guys can com converse and, and just kind of do uh, regular updates. Um, other than that, you need to be tracking your progress and uh, log your percentages and so forth. Like, how are you making progress? And you can log that, whatever progress means to you. Um, and then don't make excuses. Help yourself out by um, a mindset of this is what I do. This is no excuse. I have to do this. This is my job. Um, and this is what I will do. Um, and don't keep it, um, if, if you're not, if you're not um, telling people and you're keeping it a secret, like don't, please don't keep it a secret because if nobody knows, uh, nobody cares and nobody can help. So you need to talk to people, lean on other people to help you. The community will um, lean back and help you, okay? Um, and then stay focused. Um, you've got it. You've got it written down. Um, make it visible. Uh, again, you've already got it in your calendar. Set alarms if you need to. Put it on your bathroom mirror. Put it at your kitchen sink, depending on if that's a place you visit frequently. Um, put it on your device background if you need to. Um, and then rewrite your goals. Keep a journal. Rewrite your goals regularly. And that way it brings it to the front of your memory, the front of your mind, the front of your focus every morning. And so you know this is what you're focusing on for the day or for the week. Um, and then again, every day. Um, otherwise, if you're not doing that, it's going to be out of sight, out of mind. And uh, again, you're just going to get forgetful, distracted and do other things. Um, and before you know it, another week, a month, a year has gone by and your dream is just kind of flitting away. OK, so um, again, what did we do? We made a plan. We wrote it down and we got accountability for it. OK, um, Write down your goals. It's going to help you on your way to achieving them. Make sure they're smart goals and get specific with them. All right. If you don't make if you if you don't make uh, a deadline, again, your um, your goal is just a dream. Okay. Thanks, guys.